so the truth is I fucked up I owe all of you an apology and the truth what I did was so wrong and I mean in the end I have to live with the consequences but I still feel the urge to talk to you about this like don't get me wrong I don't expect you to forgive me all I can hope for really is you watching this whole video and afterwards just please please with all honesty like kindness and respect if that's still a thing afterwards please click that fucking like button one year ago all the recommendations i got on youtube were gaming and tech videos stuff that i was actually interested in but before i started full-time streaming i also started doing some research on youtube which means watching all the popular or rather very cancerous stuff on youtube and that destroyed my recommendations forever i'm not joking i'm doomed these days it's impossible for me to evade the drama and the 100 commentary channels jumping on it even if i don't watch the video the stories are gonna be told via the video titles I see in the recommendation bar. You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, then you're kind of the lucky nerd I used to be. The further you dive into that content, it reminds me of afternoon TV shows. And I've learned the absolute peak of these dramas are apology videos. Since they're so emotional and people love honest confessions, these videos are the most popular content. But watching these apology videos you realize pretty fast that they are all the same. Aside at the start, no background music, some other environmental sound, just to deepen the impression of the silence of this moment. And then just the generic manipulative stuff everybody wants to hear. So here we go. Guys, this is not easy for me. I thought, I mean, I thought it would be okay. I, yeah, I, I mean, I did it for the views. And I did it for the cult. So please, even if you can't forgive me, you do not have to unsub. Just, just, just leave it there. Like, there's another YouTuber with over 50 million subs, but only around 3 million views per video. Nobody has to know. Just leave it there. It's okay. So when you're still watching this video, you're every now probably dying to know what this video is actually about. There are two reasons I made this video. First of all, I wanted to make my first scripted video and needed for that some commentary opinion-like content. I know, it's pretty selfish, I know. Yeah, you're basically like contributing to my selfishness right now. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Um, but um, the second reason is I actually had the idea to talk about how YouTube changed for me already for like half a year. So now that you know that this will be my first scripted video, usually I just work on notes. I'm really interested by the way in your opinions, like did you see the difference at all and did you like it more than uh, otherwise? Um, don't get me wrong, I'm still improvising at parts, like I'm still switching sentences and stuff, but I'm not just working on notes, I've actually like written it all down. So yeah, please feel free to comment and give me your opinion on that. So the first part is talking about all the cancerous stuff. I already mentioned the fake drama. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's basically big YouTubers starting some beef with each other, which results in beef tweets beef videos and beef districts and that's of course a ton of views because people are interested in these fights between youtubers and then like another cancer is born from that and that's basically the 
commentary channels which all jump on this fake drama and give their opinion on that. Um, and the worst state of that commentary channel style is you basically have a beef video and you have the YouTuber, the commentary YouTuber, watching it and reacting to it. Like, I will probably do something to show you something hilarious here. But basically, it's like the YouTuber sometimes just small in the corner and then big the video um, they're reacting to, and it's like this. Sometimes not even saying a single thing the whole video long. They might even be eating, enjoying the meal by doing that. Um, that's basically the cheapest commentary content, though, to be honest, Personally, I don't mind that the most, but there is a next level and that's basically the exposures. So there are commentary channels that focus only on exposing other YouTubers and the core of it isn't a bad thing because they usually show you the bad personality of YouTubers, you know, they're exposing tweets, actions that indicate that this YouTuber has a bad personality and basically shouldn't be that popular. Uh, my problem with that is like that most of these commentary channels, like they are so fucking repetitive. If you look at such a commentary channel, like you will find like 50 videos on Jake Paul and they're basically all the same telling you what what scum Jake Paul is. If you're a little bit around on social media, you will know the incidents. Um, so the only thing those exposure commentary channels are giving you on top is basically swearing and their personality. This has escalated over time, like um, these commentary channels stopped just like exposing Jake Paul and other big YouTubers, they started exposing each other. Like they're like picking single tweets saying, hey, look at this tweet, this indicates that this person is totally scamming you and shit. Um, I'm not gonna call names, um, <laughs> but the majority of these commentary channels are pretty shit in my opinion since it's only swearing, it's very repetitive and like it's not like they're really exposing new stuff to you. Um, don't get me wrong, if there's actual scam nobody knows about it, I think that's very valuable content to put that out there. But for me, I appreciate content with facts and not content that's just about raging and swearing. And at this point, I have to say, I've actually lied to you. I said it's all written down. Um, but honestly, my improvising went a little bit overboard and as of now and like already since the last few sentences, it was actually not written down at all. I uh, just wanted to make that clear. Maybe I do have to make an apology video now. What do you think, guys? Like an honest apology video? More views? For the cult? Hmm? But back to the script. Um, there are, of course, great commentary channels. Some are like documentaries, some are very entertaining or creative, and some are just very interesting personalities that give their opinion on stuff. And that's actually the content I have come to love the most. But since 90% of the commentary channels are not just shit, but I'm already sick of just clicking on that content, uh, because again, it's just repetitive swearing and raging at other YouTubers, it's actually difficult to find the great content in between. Um, I will, by the way, link a few channels in the description below for you to check out. It's uh, very great um, channels. I've come to love a lot. Um, it's basically um, some are documentary stuff, some are commentary stuff. Some also include the YouTube drama, um, but it's basically the commentators I've really come to like. My YouTube experience was destroyed at one hand, but I did find great content on the other. And you might already guess, since YouTube is more like my hobby, I want to try to deliver that kind of great content someday 
to you. And one point is learning to make a video based on a script, which I'm already failing at again, since I'm improvising again. So yeah, out of this was actually just a big intro to tell you what kind of content I want to create in the future, um, while still making clear that I do not want to join the YouTube drama circus. Um, even though I am not gonna say I might never talk about such stuff, I am not interested in raging and just accusing other YouTubers and people if there's not actually something interesting I'm getting my hand on, which is actually quite fucking unlikely. Like, come on. Like, if I, if I actually have some information to share with you guys, um, that's kind of exclusive new if they're like if I actually have to contribute something I'm gonna do that but I'm not gonna join the circus it's just about swearing raging and talking about um, how much of a piece of a shit Jake Paul is like we all know that I don't have to tell you but also I wanted to warn you if you don't know anything about YouTube drama if your YouTube experience is still innocent, fucking run. Run. Please, just run. I might have just influenced your YouTube recommendations. Do I owe you an apology now? Has this video just become honest again? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I'm really interested in your opinions on this video. Like, did you like the style? Was it entertaining for you? Was it confusing? Um, did you notice that it was scripted? And was it for the better or for the worse in comparison to my other talking videos? And as always, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, it's also fine. Hit the thumbs down button. Please give me your feedback and also consider subscribing. See you on the next one. Bye bye.